Aesthetics is the branch of philosophy that deals with concepts such as art, beauty, and good taste. Everyday aesthetics is a subfield of aesthetics that deals with these aesthetic questions as applied to everyday objects. The question I have for you today is, are everyday objects beautiful? Now, it seems obvious that everyday objects are beautiful. We tend to tell ourselves this all the time, at least our friends tell us, TV tells us, and so on. But is this beautiful? What about this? And this? Confused yet? What makes these objects beautiful rather than pretty or nice or in the case of trash, just gross. That's one of the questions that we're dealing with today. Aesthetics has traditionally dealt with art, and with art it's easier to know whether something is beautiful or not. On the other hand, when it comes to everyday objects, we have to ask ourselves, what is beauty? Philosopher Thomas Leddy has one opinion. He believes that beauty exists on a continuum. On one side, we have the pretty. On the other side, we have the sublime. Beauty falls in the middle. And he says three things. He says, number one, the beautiful objects are more difficult to appreciate than the pretty objects. Whereas people might need special training to appreciate beautiful objects we don't need special training to appreciate pretty objects. Number two, he says, and I quote, the wind, damn it. It is rare to find something beautiful or to have an experience of beauty, but seeing things as pretty, cute, or nice is an everyday experience. Because of this, he says number three, pretty objects are pervasive. That means that they exist throughout our experience. We should not ignore pretty objects just because of their pervasiveness though, he says. But we experience pretty objects probably as much as we need to. So that's Thomas Leddy's view. Everyday objects are, for the most part, pretty, and we should not dedicate time to appreciating them. Now I find a couple of problems with Letty's picture of the world. For me the first problem is, just because something is more difficult, does not mean it's more worthy of appreciation. For example, walking and talking with a close friend of mine is not a particularly difficult task but it is quite meaningful and worthy of appreciation. On the other hand, shoveling dirt and laying down a gravel path is quite difficult work, but by no means necessarily meaningful. The second problem I have is that the continuum itself doesn't seem to make any sense. For example, if something becomes very pretty, does it become beautiful? Or if something starts being less beautiful, does it become pretty? What exactly is this continuum supposed to signify? Let me use an example that Letty himself uses. He talks about a host on the TV show Antiques Roadshow. They see what I think was an 18th century porcelain vase. He looks at the vase and you know what he says? He says, it's very prettily painted. So why would he use the word pretty here rather than beautiful? I believe he's not using the word pretty just because it's less than beautiful, but he's using pretty to signify something else. Something perhaps humbler than beautiful. Prettiness has no pretensions, it's not trying to be something more than it wants to be. There's no profoundness here and it's not trying to be profound. Maybe that's what makes something pretty. So the word pretty seems to grasp a different concept than the word beautiful. So that's Letty's view. I've given you my view, now what is your view? Post in the comments to let me know. Are everyday objects beautiful?
If you enjoyed the video, please like, add a comment, and subscribe. Subscribing really helps give me motivation to make more videos. Until next time.